Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Austin and if you guys are new here welcome my channel is all about tech unboxings reviews sneakers pretty much anything cool that I can get my hands on we talk about it on this channel now today we are talking about how to connect your iPad to your TV if you guys can see behind me I have a giant TV there and how cool would it be to connect my iPad to that now if you guys are working from home maybe you want a bigger display and you can put it on the TV or if you want to play games or watch movies pretty much do any anything you want to do on the iPad on a bigger screen, we are going to do that right now. You're going to need an HDMI cord and then you're also going to need an HDMI to USB-C cord. And that's just going to allow you to basically go from HDMI and plug it right into the iPad. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So step number one, we are going to just put the USB-C cord right into the iPad there. Okay, so I just noticed this now as I'm editing the video. So USB-C is going to be used for the iPad Pros. Now, if you guys have any of the other iPads, it's just going to be an HDMI to lightning adapter. So very, very small difference, but that's how it's going to work if you have a different iPad. Now we're going to plug the HDMI into the HDMI on the TV. So I'm just gonna do that right now. All right, now we're just going to switch the input so right now it's on HDMI 4 so we're just going to switch that and boom we should have the iPad there we go so now you have a giant iPad depending on the TV size so this is my home screen personally now there's a couple ways that you can actually utilize it so you can actually hold the iPad now my HDMI cord isn't that long but if you got a longer one you could sit on your couch and use it that way but the way I like to use it is with a mouse and a keyboard okay so you can see I have the keyboard and the mouse right now so you can see as I'm moving the mouse, I can open up different apps. So let's say I want to open up Lightroom. Now I can edit photos on a TV, which is a lot easier because the display is just so much bigger. So let's say I want to move the exposure a little bit, a lot easier to see on a TV, that is for sure. And then let's say you guys have kids or you just want to play games yourself. Now you have a giant screen for your Clash of Clans. So guys, the possibilities are really endless for having the iPad plugged into the TV. Maybe you just want to show some photos to your friends and family. Now you can, your iPad just plugs into the TV. You can show them pictures i'll show you guys a picture of uh, me and my dog daisy so you can show them pictures like that and then i'll show you another picture of daisy that we took on her walk this morning so there you go so guys i hope that helped you out now you can have a giant ipad and even if you don't need it it's just really really cool now if you guys are using it for like photo video work anything really it's going to be a really really cool experience just because of how big the screen actually is and i highly 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 recommend to use a mouse and keyboard just because it's going to give you the feel of like a giant computer and the experience is just completely awesome and I highly highly recommend it. Now guys if the video helped you out make sure you like and subscribe. The channel is blowing up and I would love for you guys to be a part of it. But anyways guys this is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. And boom we should have the iPad there we go. So now you have a giant iPad depending on the TV size. So this is my home 